Hey everyone, this is Paul with Freedom Gorilla. So if you have a Kimber 1911 and it's optics ready, such as the KHX or Aegis models, and you have the RMR plate for it, we're gonna tell you the Holosun optics you can mount on it with no problem. All right guys, and I just wanna say that all these optics are on our site, freedomgorilla.com, at the best price with free shipping. And we do have a link to this fitment guide in the description below. So the one thing to know about all these Holosun optics, they're all gonna have really long battery life anywhere between 25 to 50,000 hours. They're also going to have a side removable battery tray, which means you won't have to take the optic off of the slide to replace the battery. And they're also going to all come in either red reticles or green reticles. Another thing I just want to mention is that a lot of these optics come with the solar failsafe also. And if an optic has a solar failsafe, that also means it has an automatic brightness setting that you could use. Meaning optics with the solar failsafe have auto brightness or they have manual brightness modes. It's up to you to decide which one you want to use. Okay, another thing that these Holosun optics all share in common is really good waterproof ratings. They're fully sealed units which means the battery is inside the unit and the majority of them have IP67 waterproof ratings, which is really high. Some of them even have IPX8 ratings, but compare this to other optics on the market and you'll see that other optics usually have an exposed battery on the bottom and they are either not as good of waterproof ratings, some of them can't get submerged in water, but the ones that can, they just have an O-ring around the battery. But these Holosun units are fully enclosed which means just the optic itself, you could put underwater and you don't have to worry about any shorting out or anything like that. The other thing I wanna mention is that the majority of these optics have shake awake, which is a really cool feature. When the optic is basically sitting with no movement at all for 10 minutes, it turns off automatically. The moment it senses movement, it turns right back on and it's extremely sensitive. If you just slightly tapped it very lightly, didn't even move it, it would turn back on. So this is a really cool feature that all these optics have. So the first optic we're gonna cover is the Holosun 407C. This is gonna be the most affordable optic that you could put on it from Holosun. And the 407C has a two MOA dot, which is really nice if you're trying to be precise. It also has a solar fail safe, which means the optic will run if the battery is dead, as long as there's ambient light. It has manual brightness settings, so you can push the buttons up or down to change the brightness levels. Okay, so the next optic we're gonna cover is the Holosun 507C. Now the 507C is almost identical to the 407C, except it has Holosun's MRS reticle. The MRS reticle is really cool. It has a 32 MOA outer ring and a two MOA dot in the center. So this 32 MOA outer ring is pretty nice because it helps you pick up the dot a little bit easier when you're drawing the weapon. Now you can configure this and use only the 32 MOA circle or only the two MOA dot or both of them together. To change that, you just hold the minus button down for three seconds. All right, so the next optical cover is the Holosun 507C ACSS Vulcan. Now this is a Holosun optic that's in collaboration with Primary Arms. And what this optic has is actually a 10 MOA chevron in the center. And then it has a really large 250 MOA outer ring. This outer ring is not visible when you have the uh, chevron centered. The point of this outer ring is to help you find the dot when you're drawing the gun. So if you're looking for the dot, and you can't find it, you're gonna see this large outer ring. Now that outer ring is gonna help you adjust the optic so that you can see the chevron. It's almost like an aim assist. And the 10 MOA outer ring is cool because it has a really precise point at the top. Now the only downside to this optic is the battery life is a little shorter than the other optics that we cover. But if that doesn't bother you, this is a fantastic choice. The next optic we're gonna cover is the Holosun 507 Comp. So this is one of the newest optics from Holosun and it has the largest window out of any of the optics we covered. It's actually meant for competition shooting and the large window is really nice, really easy to look through. It does not have a solar fail safe and it also has what's called the complete reticle system. The complete reticle system has many different reticles to choose from. You can have a two MOA center dot and then either an eight, 20 or 32 MOA outer circle. And if you want, you can just use the outer circle only. 
But if you're into competition shooting, or if you want something with a really large window that you don't mind carrying around, this is a really interesting and cool optic to look at. And the next optic we're gonna cover is the Holosun 508T. Now the 508T is exactly like the 507C. It has all the same features. However, the 508T is made out of titanium and it has a square shape and a rectangle window. So the window has a little bit more of a uh, field of view to it and the titanium is actually to make the optic stronger. So if you want something super duper durable, this is a really nice optic for you. Okay, so the next optics we're gonna cover are enclosed emitter optics. Enclosed emitter optics mean that there is a protective hood above the optic which protects the laser beam. So that means nothing can get in the way of the laser and the glass, giving you a little bit more uh, reliability if you needed that. Like let's say you were carrying outside the waistband and you didn't want rain or snow to get in between your optic laser and the glass an enclosed emitter would prevent this from happening. The next optic we're gonna cover is the Holosun 509T. The Holosun 509T is a titanium enclosed emitter optic and it's very durable. It's an excellent choice if you need something super heavy duty. The only downside to this optic is that it uses a clamping style mechanism, which is actually really strong. But what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a higher deck height, which means that it may block your iron sights, even if you have the tall iron sights, like the suppressor height iron sights. The next optic we're gonna cover is the Holosun 509 ACSS Vulcan. So this is an enclosed emitter optic and it has the 10 MOA chevron and the 250 MOA outer ring. Again, this is to help you find the dot. Now the 509 ACSS Vulcan is actually made out of 7075 aluminum, not titanium like the 509T. And it is a little bit longer, but it still fits on the same footprint. The 509 ACSS Vulcan has a similar clamping mechanism to the 509T. So it will have a higher deck height. The next optic we're gonna cover is the Holosun EPS. So the Holosun EPS is one of the newer optics from Holosun that are enclosed emitters. And the way these work is they come with a RMR adapter plate. So you'll have an RMR adapter plate that goes onto your gun. And then this optic will mount onto that plate. And the thing about these is they're made out of aluminum and they have a couple different versions. There's a two MOA version, a six MOA version, and the MRS version, which has the 32 MOA circle and the two MOA dot. The MRS versions are the most expensive and they come with the solar fail safe. The two MOA and six MOA versions do not come with the solar fail safe and they are a little bit more affordable. All right, so hopefully you found this guide helpful. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us on our site, freedomgorilla.com. We have all these optics in stock at the best price with free shipping. And we do have a link to this fitment guide below in the description.